While screening has certainly contributed to a decrease in morbidity and mortality from breast cancer, it hasn't accomplished all that we had hoped. The approach to screening has essentially been unchanged since 1980. The whole idea behind screening was that if you could catch a cancer at an earlier stage, that that would be the way in which we could make a dramatic impact on the risk of dying of breast cancer. At the time that we did this, we thought breast cancer was one disease, and we knew that if you had later stage disease, you're more likely to die, and if you had early stage disease, you were less likely to die. But decades later, I think we are in a different place. What we know is that breast cancer is not one disease. It's many diseases. Some grow very fast, some grow slowly. Some have lots of risk over time, and others have risk over the first three to five years. Everybody doesn't have the same risk for breast cancer, and everybody doesn't have the same risk for the same type of breast cancer. So it stands to reason that perhaps we need to rethink our strategy. Clinical trials are tomorrow's treatments today. Every idea we have doesn't work, but the ones that do, do become tomorrow's treatments. Every woman should be offered the opportunity to participate in trials, and that's part of equity, right, is making sure that it's not just the special few that give, are given this opportunity, but that we work to make sure that we have inclusion and diversity in our trials, that we make sure that financially we make it possible for people to participate in trials, and so that our trials also help us understand does this just work in this particular group of patients or not? In the United States, you know, we still have 40,000, 42,000 women a year dying of breast cancer. So we, we've got to do something different and better. Perhaps the smarter way is to say, gosh, you know, maybe what we should do is more for the people at higher risk and less for the people at lower risk. And that's really what the wisdom study is all about. It's about women informed to screen depending on measures of risk. Screening surfaces more indolent cancers. It's just, that's true of any screening test. When you screen, you'll find these pre-malignant lesions or you find these early stage cancers, some of which are not necessarily very lethal and it brings up the risk of over-treatment. So part of the strategy is to try and make sure that we know what we're screening for and we know what we're diagnosing so that we can continue to refine the model. So for example, you can screen for mutations that bring a very high risk of breast cancer. It seems like an obvious answer that at the very least we should identify those people. And we have a test that we can use. Again, not perfect, but it's an important step forward. There's a lot we can do. So iSpy is a platform trial, and a platform trial means that, that the backbone of the trial is essentially the same. You're asking the question that you can serially run drugs in and out of the trial to answer similar questions. So every time you bring in a new drug, you don't have to start all over with a new trial. So you save a couple of years for each drug you bring in. So the idea is to accelerate knowledge turns. That's the experiment we're running. So we took high-risk women, took new agents and new drugs, moved them from being tested once they had safety testing in the metastatic setting to move them forward and not wait 10 or 15 years till we've sorted them out to try them in the early stage setting. And was able to show, yes, we can use this early endpoint to determine whether something is good or not. What's exciting about that is that we have gone from a 19% overall response rate to 50 and what we hope is with the right weight to assign drugs to something like 60%, our goal is 90%. This is a tremendous opportunity for us to set the stage for making prevention a really central theme of how we think about screening. And what you want to do is set up this framework to make prevention research and prevention improvements a reality. The Robert Sutherland Award is really such an honor, and on behalf of the entire iSpy program, I feel that it's 
validation of the efforts that we have taken to try and move the field faster, to accelerate knowledge turns, and to try new approaches in the way we design trials to make a difference for patients. When someone is diagnosed with a breast cancer, they don't have 10 to 15 years to wait because they want better answers now. Now we don't always have them, but I feel very committed to trying to get those answers much faster and to make progress. And so that in my lifetime, we could see 90% complete response rates with less toxic therapies.